So, Digital Streams have just shared a forum post for the direction of the Zaraman 1.1 update and what you can expect coming with this update from all of the hotfixes, of course the changes to Void Sling, which there are a few ones that a lot of you guys actually wanted, and also changes to the Eximus Overshield and how they plan on dealing with that. So sit back while I read you a bedtime story. Hello Tenno, it's been almost two weeks since the launch of Angels of Zaraman on all platforms. The team has deployed six plus hotfixes and digested handfuls of feedback threads, but what's next? While these individual hotfixes were needed to address crucial bugs, they have larger plans committed to addressing bigger feedback areas in their next major update, Angels of Zaraman 1.1, final name pending. Sounds like a YouTuber. We would also like to apologize for the frustration many of these bugs caused to our community. Much has been taken into account for future releases so that they can avoid bumps that they saw during the initial launch. They will be entering console certification for 1.1, meaning all the issues or changes from the initial Angels of Zaraman launch that required a code integration will go live with this update. This includes fixes for bugs such as the Void Plume pickup indicator, Zaraman Steel Pad completion inbox not being sent, and more. Now, their objective for Angel of Zaraman 1.1 is to address top feedback points that required more development time, careful consideration, and code changes to implement. This is regards to Void Sling. They're experimenting with directional changes such as strafing, sideways mobility, and backwards sling to allow more movement options. Strafe and back sling were originally tested during Void Sling's development, but at the time they felt having similar direction control to bullet jump was important. Community feedback tells them that the more mobility options they have, the better, and they are working on changes that meet that desire. Additionally, they're reviewing the code to resolve some transference latency issues and considering other tweaks to operate. Now another highly discussed topic being reviewed is Overguard. They're currently experimenting and reviewing different options to address varying islands of feedback. They understand that doesn't provide you with much to go off, but please know that they're committed to making good on the feedback that they've been given. Additionally, they're reviewing the possibility for new operator arcanes that have direct interactions with Overguard and are planning on adding an additional arcane slot for your amps as well. Now they do also plan on releasing the remaining two in Karen and Evolving weapons that were shown on Devstream 160 with the other goodies with this update as well. Angels of Zaraman 1.1 is their commitment to the community in addressing the feedback from the original Angels of Zaraman launch and they're going to speak about it further on the next Devstream. So they're addressing the two major issues players have with Void Sling since its addition with the Zaraman update, which is great. They're also apologizing for the amount of issues the update has given us since launch, which is also welcome as well. On top of that, they're promising a lot of fixes for known issues with the Zaraman missions. I would imagine the elevator as well and Void Plume pickups and so on. But at the same time, they're gonna add side strafing and possible back slinging to void sling, which is greatly, greatly welcome because more mobility is better. But I'm guessing you won't see where the charge up direction line is going to be because the normal one we have is moving forward. This you're gonna be moving sideways and backwards, so you're not gonna be able to see behind you. But they're also going to address, I think, the transference delay, which is very much needed. Again, void sling is getting closer to what we originally had with void dash. And if they are adding side and back strafing to void sling, then you would be correct in asking the question, why did they ever change it in the first place? I mean, Void Dash already had all of those movements and now you're reverting back to pretty much close to that type of system that we already had. So why? <laughs> they also looked at the overshield mechanic for the new Eximus units and possibly adding operator arcanes to help deal with these new threats. However, there is just a few problems with the fixes that they are offering us. New operator arcanes will mean that we will have to farm 21 new arcanes to fix an issue that we didn't create, which really isn't that fair to ask. For new players, Eximus units, of course, are really hard to deal with. They don't have operators yet for these new fixes that they're offering, or the meta weapons that we have in the game right now to allow us to bone down these Eximus units. So that's a major issue since the game survives off new players, whether we want to admit it or not. Adding arcanes to operators doesn't seem like a proper fix. It's an unnecessary band-aid fix. Re-evaluating the scaling on the overshield or the tankiness of the Eximus units in general would be a better change no maybe i'm wrong instead of adding another needless grind i did see a brilliant comment from someone casardis on twitter mentioning the fact that void damage was originally supposed to help deal with these overguard shields to break them down and that's what we were told originally but it doesn't seem to do anything or much of anything at all high-end explosive weapons are still your best bet for killing these eximus units which like i said new players 
don't really have and they don't have the tenno either to put these arcanes on the operators to deal with it either so surely something should be looked at in a different way but let me know what you think in the comment section below of these supposed changes with zaraman 1.1 they are going to be releasing the new two incarnan weapons the second two incarnan weapons i think it was a dagger and a shotgun so i can't wait to see what those are like as well but have a great day and thanks for watching